out! To cry out! The federal government should, as a matter of urgency, look into the problems in our universities. Our children have been at home for five months plus as a result of government negligence. And we continue to demand to say that our government should meet with the workers in universities demand. Our workers in universities have reached agreement with federal government severally. And the federal government reneged on those agreements. At this point, we insist that those agreements should be met. Let the workers' welfare in the university be met. Let them respect the workers' rights. Let our children go back to school. So in a boy state today, we join all other states, including Abuja, to say that the federal government should be first and make our children to go back to school. But enough is enough. Are you sure of love? I thank our brethren in the struggle for this uncommon brand of solidarity. I thank each and every one of you for coming out in mass to support the glory of the university, the glory of the citadel of learning, the glory of knowledge. I thank you and we believe that this day he sent a message to our leaders up there, down there, wherever they are, that education is the key. And they must open our universities for our children, the leaders of tomorrow, to come back and gather knowledge. A knowledge that will benefit our economy, a knowledge that will benefit our system, a knowledge that will benefit our future. On that note, I want to say, Aluta, we shall not back down until the federal government does the needful. We shall not back down on the 2009 renegotiated agreement is signed and implemented. We shall not back down until IPPIS is reborn. We shall not back down until UTAS is deployed and implemented in our universities. Aluta, it is beautiful for a government to be so sensitive to the plight of Nigerian people, our parents and our children, because their children are abroad. Today, we have shown a mark of historical responsibility for us to gather here today, his authority for the struggles of our union, to emancipate our total sector, to emancipate our country from those that want to kill it. The menaces of this struggle is to tell Nigerians that we have a government that is so insensitive because their children are not here. How can you be so sensitive that in five months, if the lecturers are at home, our mandate is denied, we cannot teach our students, we are not, our welfare is not taken care of. And for this reason, we are here. We are saying that this strike must continue until our conditions are met, which includes adoption of our paid solutions, because IPs is a suspect of corruption and fraud that steals from us. We are saying that our salary pay package welfare must be reinstated after 10, after 12 years. We are saying that all the areas of uh, 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 fund must be paid. I thank you all for being here today. This talk continues. We'll remain in trenches, but nothing is done. Alta continua, Victoria Asata. Asata.